Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Morning Prayers. I'm Steve Toby. Well, today is the 13th of June, and it is the feast day of the martyr Aquilina of Byblos in Syria. And her traparian, your lamb Aquilina calls out to you, O Jesus, in a loud voice. I love you, my bridegroom, and in seeking you I endure suffering. In baptism I was crucified so that I might reign in you and I died so that I might live with you. Accept me as a pure sacrifice, for I have offered myself in love. Through her prayer, save our souls, since you are merciful. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, let's go to Amy and Christina. Good morning to you both. Good morning. It's cloudy here, and Amy has some sunshine, I think, behind her. We do. And I have a hot one. Yeah, oh, it's cloudy where you are? It's cloudy Steve. where I am. It's us too today there. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's beautiful today. Yeah, it's going to be hot though. <laughs> oh, yes. Hottest week yet for us anyway. Yeah, it's supposed to get hot here too. That humidity. Mm. So, okay. well, Amy, well, you, you're reading the scriptures this morning, I think. So why don't you go I ahead am. and start us off? All right. Good morning, everybody. Um, let's pray. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind, with the pure light of thy divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy gospel teachings. Implant also in us the fear of thy blessed commandments, that trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things that are as well-pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thy Father who is from everlasting, and thine all-holy good and life-creating spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. This morning we start our epistle reading over in Ephesians, um, that is going to be chapter 5, 8 through 19, and we're going to find that on page, um, starting on page 1606. So Ephesians 5, 8. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of, the, of light, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, righteousness, and truth, finding out what is acceptable to the Lord. And have no fellowship with unfruitful works of, the dark, of darkness, but rather expose them. For it is shameful to even speak of those things which are done by them in secret. But all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light, for whatever makes manifest is light. Therefore, he says, awake, you who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. See then that you, work, you walk cir circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not be drunk with wine, in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit. Um, let's see, that's what our um, epistle. So our gospel this morning is over in Matthew, chapter 18, verses 10 to 20, starting on page 1303. Matthew 18, 10 to 20. Okay. Take heed that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that in heaven their angels always see the face of my Father who is in heaven. For the Son of Man has come to save that which was lost. What do you think? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, does, not, does he not leave the ninety-nine and go to the mountains to seek one that is straying? And if he should find it, assuredly I say to you, he rejoices more over that sheep than over the ninety-nine that did not go astray. Even so, it is not the will of your Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Moreover, if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he hears you, you have gained a brother. But if he will not hear, take with you one or two more that by the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. 
And if he refuses to hear them, tell it to the church. But if he refuses to hear the church, let him be to you like a heathen and a tax collector. Assuredly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered, where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. This is the word of the Lord in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. And let's say hello to Michael Rager. Good morning. And Michael says it's going to be 99 where he is today. Whoa. Best friend, the air condition, right? Air condition. Actually, he says, Rob King says, keep wet towels around you. Ah, and, uh, Michael yes. says, yeah, wet towel is my best friend today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And let me see, Kurt Lytle, good morning, Kurt. Uh, Let me see, good morning, prayer family. May our risen Lord bless each of us today according to our needs, amen. Amen. There's Jonathan, good morning. Steve, Christina, Kurt, Michael, and everyone, thank you for your testimony last night, Steve. You're welcome. Earl and Vicki are here, good morning. And uh, let me see here. Rob King, good morning. May we all have a blessed day and continue to pray for peace in Europe. Amen. We pray for peace over there, Lord. Belarus is starting to make noises that they might come into uh, western Ukraine. So Maybe that's part of the reason the stock market futures are so low this morning. So, But we'll see. And uh, Rob says, keep, Michael, keep towels and cold water nearby, please. Amen. Violetta, good morning. Betty Hedicletes, good morning to you, Betty. Good to see her back from Greece. And uh, let me see here. Uh, Catherine Houston, KP, good morning. Probably on her way to work. And uh, let me see here. And Gary Ballard, good morning, Gary. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for your prayers while we traveled. It was 107, 107 in San Antonio yesterday. Hey, I, I, I will not complain, I promise. I will enjoy the, the, the cool weather comparatively. <laughs> Time to get on your horse and go to Montana. Ooh, off into the sunset. <laughs> Joyce Marie, good morning. And Barb Anderson's not here yet. Ooh, Joy, Joyce is all alone in her pew. Uh-oh. Yeah, and let me, Joseph will join us in a little while. And uh, Mary, Mary Saad, pretty confused right now, Mary is, and uh, overwhelmed. And we pray, dear Lord, for Mary, that you settle her life down and release, relieve the tensions and anxiety that she's experiencing. We pray for that, Lord. Amen. Nellie Cartvelli, good morning. Kurt's over here, too. He's got a pew over the annex he's got a pew, a pew over here in the the main church facebook what? lena may good morning to you my little sister mm-hmm. she's got little hearts and prayers and, oh yay uh, karen kalanovich good morning karen maria fenton and uh mary uh, karen karen kalanovich has a little prayer for us may we be blessed and inspired all the day long to pray and trust the lord with our lives and our loved ones too. Amen. Okay. Debbie okay. Owen, good morning to you, Deb. Ruthie Johnson, good morning. Deb Goodall, good morning. Stravula Batskos, good morning over in Melbourne. And Mother Elizabeth, good morning. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Amen. Mm-hmm. And uh, Mother Elizabeth sent me an, uh, an email with a link. Um, she needs some uh, readers for her offline uh, uh, prayer thing that she's doing. So I'm going to share that with you. Not right now because I don't have it queued up. But I'll share her link. If you want to be a reader for Mother Elizabeth for her programming, um, I'll put that link in this evening. Okay. And let me see. Anna Gennaro, good morning. Moving clothes around for the painters again. <laughs> Oh, isn't that fun? Well, let's see here. And 
tonight we have our agathist for children, right? That's it. That's it. So make sure you're all here for uh, that agathist, whether you have children or not. You know, uh, agathist for the nurturing of children. So that's tonight. Well, we've said hello to, I think, everybody. And uh, Christina, why don't you lead us in prayer? Of course. Oh, I lost my page. There you go. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray for peace. Almighty God and Creator, you are the Father of all people on the earth. Guide, I pray, all the nations and their leaders in the ways of justice and peace. Protect us from the evils of injustice, prejudice, exploitation, conflict, and war. Help us to put away mistrust, bitterness, and hatred. Teach us to seize the storing and using of implements of war. Lead us to find peace, respect, and freedom. Unite us in the making and sharing of tools of peace against ignorance, poverty, disease, and oppression. Grant that we may grow in harmony and friendship as brothers and sisters created in your image to your honor and praise. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, O Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O gracious Lord. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having arisen from sleep, we Fall down before thee, O Blessed One, and sing to thee, O Mighty One, the angelic hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy are thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From my bed and sleep thou hast raised me. O Lord, enlighten my mind and my heart, and open my lips, <clears throat> that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, Holy, Holy are thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear, we cry out in the middle of the night, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, because of the abundance of thy goodness and long suffering. Thou wast not wroth with me, slothful and sinful as I am. Neither hast thou destroyed me in my transgressions, but in thy compassion raised me up as I lay in despair, that at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. Do thou now enlighten the eyes of my understanding, open my mouth to receive thy words, teach me thy commandments. Help me to do thy will, confessing thee from my heart, singing and praising thine all holy name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, Light of light, true God of true God, 
begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead in the life in the life of the world to come. Amen. We bless thee, O God most high and Lord of mercies, whoever work is great and mysterious deeds for us, glorious, wonderful, and numberless, who provides us with sleep as a rest from our infirmities and as a repose for our bodies tired by labor. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgressions. But in thy love toward mankind, thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair, that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise up our minds from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess to thee, who art God, glorified in all and by all, the eternal Father, the only begotten Son, and the all holy and good and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, grant me to greet the coming day in peace. Help me in all things to rely upon your holy will. In every hour of the day, reveal your will to me. Bless my dealings with all who surround me. Teach me to treat all that comes to me throughout the day with peace of soul and with firm conviction that your will governs all. In all my deeds and words, guide my thoughts and feelings. In unforeseen events, let me not forget at all are sent by you. Teach me to act firmly and wisely without embittering and embarrassing others. Give me the strength to bear the fatigue of the coming day with all that it shall bring. Direct my will, teach me to pray. Pray you yourself in me. Most holy God, I pray and beseech you, give me a pure heart a way of speaking that befits the faith I profess. Grant me uprightness of purpose, powers of reasoning unhindered by passions, conduct that becomes those who fear you, and perfect knowledge of your commandment. May I enjoy health in body and in spirit. Grant me a life of peace, genuine faith and living hope, sincere charity and bountiful generosity, patience that knows no bounds, and the light of your truth, to proclaim your goodness to me, that forever and in all things, placing my trust only in you, I may abound in every good work, and that in Christ your gifts may increase in every soul. For to you belong all glory, honor, and majesty, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Thank you so much, both of you. You're welcome. And you. just just a reminder that uh, tonight is the Akathis for uh, Nurturing of Children, the second Monday of the, second Monday of the month, right? And uh, now there'll be no morning prayers on Saturday. I have food distribution on Saturday. Today, okay. I have to order the food. Order lots of food. Uh -huh. Order lots. So how many Saturdays do you have? We, are, we, do the, uh, act, we do the food distribution on the third and fourth Saturday of every month. Oh, okay, gotcha. Now, if there's a fifth Saturday, we also do it on that Saturday, too. Uh -huh. Okay, so... Third, yeah, fourth Saturday, Michael. and a fifth Saturday, if there is one. So. All right. All righty. Okay. So no morning prayers on Saturday morning. Right. And I want to say hello to Stelio. 
And I want to say, Lord, keep him safe and protect him today while at work. We pray for that. Amen. And let me see. Joyce Marie is still all alone over there. (laughs) And uh, (laughs) let me see here. And Michael uh, Michael Rager says, Woo-hoo! Internet tomorrow morning. I'm excited. He's finally going to get a good internet oh, connection. That'll be good. Good internet. Yeah. All righty. That makes a difference. So uh, anything else that I may have forgotten, ladies? I think everything's all good. No, two, well, no, two things at the end. But uh, Oh, that's right, the two things, yes. Oh, at the end. At oh, we can end. do it now. Oh, Sure, why not? Picking things up a little bit. Yeah. Variety. There are two things that you need to remember, two folks. Things. Amy, what's one? That God loves you, and he really, really does. Hey, Christina, what's number two? Number two is that we love you, and we really, really do. And there's a number three, and that Steve will remind you that at the end. Yes. <laughs> number three is, if you're ever confused about what number three is just go back to one and two that sums it all up that's right so well you guys have a great day stay cool especially michael out there and um and we'll gary is more. over 100 oh, actually, oh yeah gary too absolutely in san antonio and we'll see you tonight literally okay. <laughs> literally yeah, literally all right y'all have a great day you too bye-bye all right thank you so much so nice to start our mornings off with amy and christina well let's put this here and lord we ask that you uh remember and have mercy on those who we are about to pray for this morning well lord we uh things are a little different different is okay different is okay there we go Well, Lord, we pray for Catherine Houston. She's on her way to work right now, I thank Lord, and we pray that you keep her safe. And we pray for her family. We pray for her son, Brandon, and his wife, Nicole. And Lord, they're pregnant, so we pray for a uh, healthy birth for them. We pray for Catherine's sister, our daughter, excuse me, Lexi, for her health. We pray for her cousin, John, and we pray for Patricia. That's Catherine's sister. And Lord, we pray that you heal her and relieve her of her pain and suffering. We pray for Nadine, who has those back and stomach problems, Lord. And we pray for Michelle and Donna, Kevin and Keith. Uh, they each suffer from cancer, and we pray for them, Lord. And we pray for Jan Novak, who you healed from cancer. Now we pray, Lord, that he remains cancer-free. We pray for the health of my family. We pray, dear Lord, for my grandson, Thomas, for a full recovery from the COVID-19. And he's doing pretty well. He really is. Thank you, Lord. We pray for my granddaughter, Sarah. We pray for my uh, daughter, Maureen, and her family over in Germany. Uh, We pray you keep them healthy and safe. We pray for Christina, that she remains cancer-free. We pray for that. Pray for my wife, Sharon, for her health and a healing for her. And we pray for uh, the health of Ann Bradner. We pray for Jim and Ann Robinson, both recovering from the COVID-19. And we pray for Gary Fisher and his health. Lord. Uh, we pray for our sister, Lena May. Good morning, Lena May. Well, we pray for her, Lord. We pray that you uh, return her to good health. Give her a healing. We pray for that, Lord. We pray for her husband. We pray for Lena May's special intentions. We pray for her daughters, Jennifer and Stephanie. We pray for Charlene, that she remains cancer after you healed her. Thank you, Lord. We pray for Elder Millennial, that you heal his lungs. We pray for his mother, Celeste, his niece. And we pray for Stella down there in Colorado and uh, her family. We pray for St. Columba Parish in Lafayette, Colorado. We pray for Karen Kalanovich. Good morning, Karen. We pray for Karen, Lord, for her health and a healing for her. We pray for um, her children and her grandchildren. And right now, Lord, we've got Gabe home from Japan on leave from the Marines. And we pray that he has a wonderful visit and a safe, safe return. And, Lord, we pray for uh, George. Another grandson of uh, Karen's, we pray for his health and a healing for him. We pray for Jonna, that you relieve her of her anxiety. We pray for that, Lord. We pray for that. Amen. And, Lord, we pray for Kat Zurga. We pray for Kat, that, uh, and we thank you 
for uh, the healing that you gave to Kat and her sister. Thank you. We pray for Kat's uh, special intentions. We pray for her, that you make life a little less stressful for her. We pray for that. We pray for the health of Stephanie Acario. We pray for Catherine Salcedo. A lot of problems right now with Catherine, Lord. She's got a lot going on, and we pray that you come and help her and send her the Holy Spirit to help her along. And, Lord, we pray for Bianca and Rodrigo. We pray for uh, Catherine's uh, husband, and we pray for, and there's a lot going on with him too, Lord. And we pray for uh, little Israel that he grows up in faith in you, and we pray for John and his children for their health and that they come closer in faith to you. Well, Lord, we pray for Paul and Ethel Peters and Aziza Baruti and Stella Susuris, Enam George, Mary Malark, Barb Essa, George Abraham, Hugh Mater, Cooper Wolf, Rosie Wallace, Patricia Abraham, Sophie King, Linda Beckley, Joseph Medeiri, Joseph Felix, Steve Fraser, the Rose family, Michelle and James Mason. And uh, James is in the hospital right now, Lord, not doing well. Very advanced cancer. We pray for, for him. We pray for Eric Mason. We pray for James Herbert. We pray for Charles Thomas, Ruth and Jane Jabara, Barb Anderson. Uh, Lord, we pray for Jorge Luqua, a seminarian at Jordanville, Lord. He's, his body's being ravaged by uh, cancer, Lord, but he's still in seminary. And we pray, dear Lord, for a miracle healing for Jorge. And uh, Lord, we pray for uh, Jane Solberg and uh, Curia Jocelyn. We pray for Dory Harris, Kelly and Shannon Levy, John Nicholson. We pray for uh, Robert D'Arsanio, Steve Rumian, Michael Joseph and Mike, Michael Abraham. We pray for uh, Father Stephen Allen and Father Philip McCaffrey. We pray for Rennie, Rennie Abraham, Lord. We pray for my sister, Rennie. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for uh, Carmi Simeon, and I'll be seeing her probably this weekend. We pray for her health. We pray for the health of Rob King. We pray for his children and his grandchildren, that they come home in faith to you. We pray for their health as well. We pray for uh, Rob's two sisters, Dixie and Virginia. We pray for Dixie that you send her the Holy Spirit to help her. We pray for Virginia that she has found eternal rest with you. We pray for Mac, who's also fallen asleep, Lord. We pray that he has found eternal rest with you. And we pray for his family. And we pray for Judy, that she remains cancer-free. Lord, we pray for Earl and Vicki Winter. We pray for them, keep them healthy, and protect them. And uh, Lord, we pray for Vicki's mother and father, Martha and Jimmy. We pray for their health. We pray for success for Earl's business. We pray for the health of Jane Robbins and Ann Hawkins. Lord, we pray for Zach and Lindsay for their health. And we pray for Lindsay's friend, Donna. We pray that you bring Albina, Tom, and Sonia back to good health, Lord. We pray for that. We pray for Alyssa Sides, who suffers from cancer. Lord, we pray for Barb Anderson. We pray for her, Lord, for her health. We pray for her family, especially her son, Archpriest Michael. We pray, Lord. Uh, for Darlene Ann and, and her family up there in Hibbing in Minnesota. And uh, she asks to pray for Gina McGuire for her health, and we pray for Les, that he remains in remission from that lymphoma. We pray for the health of Julie Dumond and her family. We pray for Francis Pappas and her family, Lord. Keep them all healthy. And we pray especially for Dimitri, that he gets that kidney soon, uh, new kidney, and uh, he's on the list, so we pray that he gets it soon. He'll be on dialysis soon. We pray also, Lord, and thank you um, for Flora. Flora had those six brain tumors, and now she's down to four. Four, uh, two, excuse me. Four have disappeared. Two remain, but they're shrinking. And we thank you so much for that, Lord. And we pray for Francis's parish. That's uh, St. George, George's Parish in Greenville, South Carolina. We pray for Father Tom, Father Mike, and the whole congregation there. Lord, we pray for Elaine Lambros and her family. We pray that her husband um, is successful at his new work, and we pray that Anastasia comes home in faith to you. We pray for our sister Gloria Drummond for her health, Lord, and we pray, she asks us to pray for Joseph Horath and uh, David and Samantha for their health. We pray for Natalia Klaus over in the Netherlands. We pray for her, Lord, uh, for her health, that you send her the Holy Spirit to help her along. And uh, we pray for her parents, 
um, and her family, especially her father, who has some health concerns. We pray for Maria Druinsky for her health, and we pray for miracle healing for her and her aging parents. A miracle healing, Lord, we pray for that, and we, that we, you relieve her, relieve her parents and husband of their pain. And Lord, we pray for a friend of Maria's who suffers from cancer. We pray for Carmen Elrod and her family. We pray for Kelly and Jordan, her sons and their young families. And we pray that those children are brought up in a good Christian environment. We pray for little Slater Bushman. Thank you for healing him from cancer. We pray for a healing for Olivia Weatherford, Lord, from that neuroblastoma. We pray for a neighbor of uh, Carmen's who suffers from multiple sclerosis. Give her courage and strength, Lord. We pray for that and a miracle healing. We pray for Ronnie Laporte, Lorraine Abraham, and George Chapekis. We pray for them, Lord. Um, they each have cancer. We pray for Rob Muska and Kayla. They both have fallen asleep due to cancer, and we pray that they have found eternal rest with you. Lord, we pray for Father Luke. We pray for Carmen's godson, Father Nick, and we pray for her parish priest, Father Suriel. Well, Lord, Gary Ballard, we pray for him and Stefania, and thank you for returning them home safely to San Antonio. Now we pray, dear Lord, for their health. We pray for the health of Gary's mother, Mary. We pray for Stefania's mother and father, Ella and Ellis. They both have health concerns, Lord. We pray for Father, uh, for uh, Kevin McCarran, who's recovering from that stroke. We pray for Jeannie Wenzel, who's healing from uh, a lymphoma. Oh, she needs a healing. She needs your healing, Lord, from that lymphoma. We pray for this great nation of ours and its leaders. We pray, Lord, that our leaders make good decisions for us. We pray for all of the clergy of the church, especially Father Thomas Newland. That's Gary's priest. We pray for the physical, emotional, and spiritual health of everyone as a part of this prayer group. We pray for Gary's and Stefania's children, for their academic career and life pursuits. And uh, we pray uh, for Gary's uh, work career and uh, his and Stefania's new side business. We pray for that. Amen. For their success. Lord, we pray for uh, Demetra. Demetra suffers from anorexia nervosa, Lord, and uh, we pray for her. That's Mary Lambiris' daughter. We pray for Stavula Batskos, and Lord, we pray for her and Elia, and uh, they're in Melbourne. We pray for them, Lord, uh, keep them healthy. We pray for their family. We pray uh, for Marie. We pray for uh, Demetrios, that he remains cancer-free. We pray for for his wife, Valicia, and her health. We pray for um, Raphael, Robert, and Antigone. We pray for Aaron. We pray that you heal Aaron's heart. We pray for Uncle George, that he has found eternal rest with you. And, Lord, we pray for uh, another George who has cancer. Boy, a cancer. Lord, we pray for uh, George, that you heal him of his cancer. Amen. Well, Lord, Maria Fenton, we pray for her health and her special intentions. Good, good morning, Maria. We pray for uh, Felicia. That's uh, Maria's daughter and her family. We pray for Maria's son-in-law, Robert, that he comes to you in faith. We pray for that. We pray for uh, Morris, for his health and his special intentions. We pray that you heal Marilyn's heart. We pray for Joanne Taylor, who suffers from cancer. Lord, we pray for our... Uh, our catechumens, we pray for Eric at the Nativity of Christ Parish in Youngstown, Ohio. We pray for Ginger at St. John Chrysostom's Parish in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We pray for um, Michael. He's at St. George's Parish in uh, Fresno, California. And Lord, we pray for that whole whole parish. They're closed, closed down right now due to a COVID outbreak. So we pray that you get them back online soon. We pray for... Uh, the uh, catacombs at St. Michael's Parish in Louisville, Kentucky. Now, they have a, a brand new ordained priest, Father Ephraim, and uh, Father Terry will be moving on to another parish in Bowling Green, I think it is. So we pray for him, and we pray for their catechumens. Father Lucas is still there. And, Lord, we pray for uh, the catechumens at St. Michael's Parish, my parish in Geneva, New York. We pray for Nick and Rose... Uh, Nick and Jackie Rose, and for their children, Noah, uh, Mia, and Olivia. We pray for them. We pray for Camilla Raymond and her children, Lord. Keep them safe 
protect them and healthy. We pray for Camilla's financial stability and that you continue to favor her in her teaching position at the university. We pray for Ramona Antonesi and her two daughters, Charlize and Grace. We pray for their health. We pray for Marion. And Lord, we pray for Maria and George. They both suffer from cancer. We pray for healing for them. We pray for Tina Showalter. Uh, we, she's at uh, St. Michael's, my parish. Well, Lord, we pray for Tina and for her health and her ministry. We pray for her husband, John, who's recovering from that prostate cancer surgery. We pray that he is cancer-free. And uh, we pray for uh, Tina's uh, brother, Tom Christensen. Tom Abraham asked to pray for his granddaughter, Bryn May. She was born with that uh, heart defect, Lord. Joyce Marie asked to pray for her and her husband, Tim, for their health. And we do, Lord. We pray for the health and well-being of this prayer group and that God hear our prayers and be glorified in them. And uh, Joyce also asked to pray for her sister, Janet. We pray that she is cancer-free after her surgery. We pray for uh, Janet and Joyce's mother, Granny Joyce, for her health. And we pray for all of their children and grandchildren for your mercy and grace and that your will be done in each of their lives. We pray for Jolene and Jeremiah, Lord. We pray that their households are guided by the Holy Spirit, protected by your angels, and we pray that they follow your leading. And Lord, we pray for Jeremiah's father, Dan Smith, that he remains cancer-free after his surgery. We pray for um, Joyce's cousin, Connie, for healing of body and soul, and that she continue to grow in faith in you. And we pray for uh, St. George's Parish in Spring Valley, Illinois, together with Father Mark, Mary Mary's Market, and... Uh, the whole congregation there, Lord. May they continue to flourish. And we pray for your blessings, Lord, and All Saints Parish in Chicago. Together, Father Andrew, Father Patrick Reardon, and the congregation there. Lord, we pray for uh, Joanne Manaski. We pray for her health, and we pray for her brothers, Eugene, Stephen, and Paul. Especially Eugene and Stephen, Lord. They both have health concerns. We pray for Claire and Mark. They both suffer from cancer, Lord. And we pray for Joanne's daughter, Erin, and her husband, Andrew. We pray that you help them with their struggles and keep them both healthy. And we pray for Joanne's son, Corey, who's recovering from the COVID-19. We pray for ja Jackie, who is uh, suffering from colon cancer. We pray for Bev, who uh, you healed from cancer. Now we pray that she remains cancer-free. We pray for Randy, who does suffer from cancer. And we pray for Randy's caregiver, Jude. And we pray that Jack who had that uh, prostate cancer surgery on, in April. Well, Lord, we pray that he is cancer-free. We pray for our sister, Amy, and we thank you for Amy. We pray for um, her husband, Eric. We pray for their good health, and we pray for a healing for Amy. We pray for Amy and Eric's uh, two daughters, Sarah and Natalie. We pray that you send them the Holy Spirit to help them, to guide them and strengthen them in their lives, and uh, we pray that they continue continue to make good decisions in their lives. Amen. And uh, Lord, we pray for Amy's brother, Rick. Keep, please keep him safe and protect him this summer, Lord, when he's fighting those forest fires and wildfires. We pray for uh, Amy's mother, Lois, for her health. And we pray for the health of Grace. That's Eric's mother. We pray for her health and for the health of her husband, Eric's father. We pray for Andrea, a friend of Amy's, uh, she's been pretty sick, Lord, and we pray that you bring her back to good health. We pray for Andrea's uh, mother and sister. They're both going through chemotherapy, Lord. Please heal them through that therapy. We pray for Greg Webster. We pray for a full recovery for him from his stroke. And we pray for uh, little Levi, a two-year-old little boy, Lord, suffering from cancer. We pray for healing for him. And we pray that you, uh, you uh, give strength and comfort and consolation and hope to his parents, Dustin and Jessica. Well, Lord, we also pray for Imogene and her health. She's recovering from that very serious stroke. We pray for Clementine and Terrence for their health, and we pray for their son. We pray that you help him out. He's managing the uh, health care of his two aging parents and living his own life. So, you know, he needs help, Lord. Amen. We pray for Christine and Teresa. And they're both suffering from those migraine headaches, Lord, and we pray that you heal them. Please, amen. We pray for Randy, who has a very um, serious pancreatic cancer that has spread, and things were looking better for a while. Now they're, they're not looking good, Lord. We pray that you uh, 
you give Randy a miracle healing. And Lord, we pray that you give Randy and his wife, Teresa, courage and strength to cope and hope. We pray for that. Amen. Well, Lord, we pray for uh, Tabitha and Austin. They're expecting a brand new baby girl in August, Lord, and we thank you for that. We pray for a healthy birth for them, and we pray for the health of Barb and Joe as well. Now, Amy also asked to pray for Jay, Marianne, Buddy, and Patricia. They each suffer or have suffered from cancer. We pray for healings for them. We pray for Mark, Rock, and Bobby. They both have passed away, fallen asleep due to cancer, Lord. We pray that they have found eternal rest with you. We pray for Belle. Oh, that wonderful story about Belle. And she's on the road to recovery, Lord, from that terrible traffic accident. Well, Lord, we pray for a full recovery for Belle. Amen. Well, good morning, Debbie Owen. We pray for her, Lord. We pray that life be a little less stressful for her. And, uh, Lord, we pray for uh, Debbie's uh, success, for Debbie's private practice. We pray for uh, her Uncle Charlie and Cousin Patty. They both have fallen asleep. We pray that they have found eternal rest with you. We pray for Debbie's uh, father. Uh, we pray for him, Lord, that you improve his vision and give him good health. We pray for Matt Owens, that he's better able to uh, handle stressful situations. We pray for Matt and Debbie's children, Amaya, Clara. We pray for um, Gio, Jordan, and Eleanor, Lord. We pray for them, that uh, they come closer in faith to you, and that they make good decisions in their lives. For this we pray. We pray for Debbie's friend, Yelena and Masha. Uh, Lord, thank you for bringing them home safely from the Ukraine. Now we pray that for their health. We pray for Lori, who suffers from cancer. We pray that you heal Lori. Well, Alione asks to pray for uh, her niece, Joanne. She suffers from cancer, Lord. We pray that you heal her. We pray that Brandon finds work, and we pray that Lori finds peace in her family. Lord, we thank you for healing Katrina Bennett over in the UK from that uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Thank you so much. Well, Lord, we pray for Dra Dragan Mitrovic. Father Dragan Mitrovic, we pray for him, and he asks us to pray for little Peter, the little boy who suffers from, uh, who suffers from cancer. And Joseph Khalil is now with us, and he's in his pew next to Joyce. And uh, he has a reading from Job, chapter 32. And now I know the spirit in the man, and the breath of the Almighty gives him and the breath of the Almighty gives him understanding. Amen. And now I know the, the spirit in the man. And the breath of the Almighty gives him understanding. Amen. Well, thank you, Joseph. And uh, Lord, we pray for Joseph. We pray for his health, that you protect him. We pray for his ministries, that they continue to be a blessing to all those around him and pleasing to you. We pray for that. We pray for Joseph's two sons, Toby and Luke. We pray that you send them the Holy Spirit to help and guide and strengthen and inspire them in their lives. We pray for Luke, that you protect him from all infections. We pray for Joseph's mother, Odette, for a healing from cancer and for her health. We pray for Renia, that's Joseph's wife. We pray for her health and a healing for her. And we pray for Annabelle and Gabriella. Can't forget them, Lord. Can't forget them. Amen. Well, Lord, Robin Armstrong, we pray for Robin and Pippin. Are they with us this morning? I think so. They usually are. Yes, there she is. Good morning, friends, from Pippin and I. Home sleep after, home after sleep study. Hmm. Well, good morning, Robin. And Lord, we pray for Robin and Pippin. Keep them healthy, protect them, make life a little less, uh, a little less, uh, stressful. We pray for that. Amen. And we also pray, Lord, for Robin's mother and father. We pray for their health. We pray for Malia, and we thank you that that tumor, as the last report, has not grown. In fact, it's been shrinking, and we thank you for that. We pray for uh, Malia's mother, uh, Lori. We pray for her health and continued good doctor reports. We pray for Frances, that you bring her back to good health. We pray for Sarah. Lord, we pray for Sarah. Uh, she has fallen asleep, and we pray that she has found eternal rest with you. We pray for our brother Jonathan, Lord. We pray for his health, and we pray that 
he remains cancer free. We pray for his friends, uh, Max, Dwight, and Caitlin. And we pray especially, Lord, for Caitlin, that uh, you strengthen her heart. We pray for that. We pray for Caitlin, and we pray for her health and a strong heart. We pray for that. Amen. Well, Lord, Stefan Bennett asks to pray for our spiritual fathers worldwide who are guiding their flocks during this very trying time. Well, Lord, I pray for Father Gregory of St. Michael's, my parish, my parish priest. Pray for his health and his ministry. We pray for the health and ministry of his family members. And, Lord, we pray for uh, Father uh, Constantinos and his ministry at the St. Irene Orthodox Orphanage and Mission. We pray for him, his family, and all those orphans. We pray for Father Antipas, for his, uh, his ministry, and for his health, and for the health of his family. And we pray for Gloria, his daughter, for success in her studies at university. We pray, Lord, for Father Emmanuel um, and his ministry at uh, St. Sophia's in Nairobi. We pray for uh, Father Demetrius Leosis, and uh, he's at uh, St. Basil's in Ocala, Florida, Lord, and we pray for him. We pray for Father Simon, that's Christina Hunter's priest. We pray for Kathleen Purdy's son, Archpriest James Purdy. We pray for Carmen Elrod's priest, Father Suriel. We pray for Barb Anderson's priest, Archpri uh, her son, Arch uh, Barb Anderson's son, Archpriest Michael. We pray for Father Andrew, for Father Herman, for Father Dragan Mitrovic, for Father Andrew Short, for Julie Dumont's priest, Father Andrew. We pray for Father Adam Roberts, and uh, we pray for Father Ephraim, a brand new priest. We pray for him, Lord. And uh, he's a new priest there at in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, at uh, St. Michael's, Alioni's uh, parish. And we pray for Gary Ballard's uh, priest, uh, parish priest, Father uh, uh, Thomas Newland. We pray for Amy's two priests, Father Sam, who's retiring. We pray for uh, a wonderful retirement for him, and we pray for Father Jeremy. We pray for Karen Valentes' husband, Father Constantine. And we pray for uh, Raymond Cannon, asked to pray for Father Weber and Father Dan. We pray for these priests, Lord. We pray for their ministries. We pray for their health, and uh, we pray for their families. Almost forgot, dear Lord, don't let me forget. And Lord, we pray for uh, Mother Elizabeth, for her health, for her ministry and uh, for her family as well. And Lord, we pray for our bishops. We pray for uh, bishops Sava, Daniel, I'll turn to the page there soon. There we go. Benjamin, Nicholas, and Alexander, and Daniel. We pray for these bishops, Lord, for their health, for their ministries. We pray for the Lord for their families. And we pray for Arch Archbishop uh, Paul and uh, Metropolitan Hilarion. They both have fallen asleep, and we pray to your Lord that their memories may be eternal. Amen. Well, let me see here. Let's see if there's any, any news or... Let's go right to the top here, or near, near the top. Amen. And... Um, Anne is maneuvering around the house. They have painters in today. And uh, Stelio. Karen Valentasis. Good morning, Karen. Good to see you. Please pray for us as we are taking care of my bedridden mother-in-law. Lord, we pray for Karen's, uh, for Karen and her family. We pray for them. They're all under a little bit of stress right now take, taking care of Karen's mother-in-law. And Lord, we pray that you keep everybody strong. We pray for the health of uh, Karen's mother-in-law, Father, Father Constantine's uh, mother. We pray for her, Lord. Amen. And let's see here. Oh, Karen Kalanovich, Jana is having her driving test today at 9 a.m., and she is anxious about passing. Thank you for your prayers. Well, Lord, we pray for Jana. We've already prayed for Jana. Lord, we're praying for her again, that you relax her, and uh, that she does well in this driving test. We pray for that, Lord. Amen. 
And let me see, Katerina is here. Katerina Salas, good morning to you. And uh, let me see here, Strahula. Oh. Oh, got good news here, folks. Okay, Anna Gennaro. Thank you for all your prayers about my moving to Coopville. I have been assigned an apartment number at a senior housing facility. I wanted, and I wanted this through the housing authority in Coopville, and it's six minutes walk from my daughter's house, just waiting on final, uh, just waiting on, I had to skip this here, let me see. A final approval, and got to get that out of there. Uh, this can only be the result of your prayers because the wait list is three to five years long. Oh, my goodness, and I got one in eight months. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord, for interceding. Thank you, Lord. And Katerina, prayers for us as my family as my family for health and strength. Lord, we pray for Katerina. We pray for her. We pray for her family, Lord. They're, they're a little anxious. They're a little stressed. And uh, Lord, we pray that you come help and strengthen them and send that family the Holy Spirit. We pray for that. Amen. And let me see. And oh, Anna says uh, the number in the apartment that she's going to be getting is the same as the room number on my mo that my mother had at the nursing home, and it's the same number as my daughter's address. Wow, easy to remember that, I guess. And uh, let me see here. And Stelio, please pray for my spiritual father, Father Theodore, and also for Father Nectarios. That God keep them strong and discerning. Well, yeah. So, Lord, we pray for fathers Theodore and uh, Nectarios. We pray for them, Lord. Keep them strong and, and serving that to perish. Amen. And let me see here. And over here. Man is thoughts. Jonathan, Rob. Catherine Muritane. Good morning, Muritane. Good morning to you. Well, I think we've I think we have everything. Just let me check over here. And here, for any last minute. Lord, we ask that you remember and have mercy on all those that we have prayed for this morning. We pray that you extend your healing hands on all those who are suffering physically, emotionally, and spiritually, Lord. We ask you, Lord, for your healing, your grace, and your love as we give you our love. We pray that the most holy Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, remembers us and our prayer intentions and her prayers when she prays. Amen. And Lord, we pray that our, our saint of the day, the martyr Aquilina, Lord, we pray that she remembers us and our prayer intentions and her prayers when she prays. Amen. O Holy Father, Heavenly Physician of our souls and bodies, who has sent your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to heal all our ailments and deliver us from death, visit and heal your servants, Lord, all those that we have prayed for this morning, 
And Lord, don't forget Dottie Thomas and uh, Robert Ryan. Oh Lord, we pray that you grant them relief from pain and restoration to health and vigor, that they may give thanks unto your holy name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Well, folks, we'll see you again uh, this evening. Remember, it's uh, Akathis night here at the Gospel Minute Live. And tonight we're at Akathis for the nurturing of children. So if you have children or no children, if you were once a child, yeah. So be, join us, please. And let me see here. Oh, we've already done this, but we'll do it again. Remember two things. One, God loves you. Really does. Two, we all here love you too. Amen. Amen. And great news for Anna. Thank you, Lord. Well, folks, we'll see you tonight. May God bless us all. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you tonight, folks. Oh, give